Hey guys, the outbreak of COVID-19 has made our lives even more challenging than before. Almost all industries have been hit by this COVID-19. We all have been doing our best effort to slow down the propagations of it ever since. And this new coronavirus could have just jeopardized our economy, particularly the Swiss economy, if the government didn't react to it rapidly. The federal government responds to the possible impacts of COVID-19 on the national economy by providing some measures, and one of them is the financial aid for the number of small-medium enterprises in order to stay afloat. About 150 million of Swiss francs have been allocated to support the startups that need additional loans and other incentives have also been given to the SMEs. Today I'll be interviewing a spokesperson who works at a new restaurant in the city center of Geneva. And if you guys are keen to know about how does this COVID-19 affect the restaurant business, what are the incentives given by the Swiss government, and what does this restaurant do during the confinement period, then you guys stay tuned in this channel. I'm Didi Lujavane, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, uh, today I have a special guest in my video. In front of me, there's a spokesperson from uh, a restaurant, Sando Garpu, and I want to get some insight from her. How does this coffee affect her business? So, if you guys are curious, stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe my channel, and click the bell icon. Okay. So Yen, can you please tell me how long has this restaurant been running? Uh, so uh, we open officially is uh, in fourth of March, two thousand nineteen. But at that time we open only for one month. Uh, as soon as we open, we have uh, technical issues with the hood, the, with the ventilation. So they force us to close because we disturb the neighbors upstairs. Uh, but uh, after uh, a few months, the problem is resolved, and we reopen in November. Uh, 2019 until uh, the reason uh, COVID that forced us to close again. So this restaurant Sando Garpo has been running since uh, a year ago but because of the COVID they have to close the restaurants. So uh, Yeni, can you tell me what is the impact of this uh, COVID-19 uh, on your business? Okay, so the impact of COVID in our business is, uh, of course, financial impact first. We, we, we plan ahead for uh, the next uh, few months because um, that's business. Uh, all these drinks uh, is filled up, but now nobody drinks. We cannot sell. That's our last one in the financial. And the second is like... Of course, uh, we bil uh, we are waiting a long time to open this restaurant because we had a problem before and then now we are running, we thought it's like, yes, now we're going to do it. It's on our moral, it's also a little bit, um, yeah, we, we are demoralized, we, we can say, because yeah. of that, yes. Uh, but uh, of course, it's, every it's happened uh, everywhere, so we... We have to. So it's just not only it's not only uh, Sando Garpu yeah. that experiences uh, this uh, impact of COVID nineteen, exactly. but also other businesses other business as well. Yeah. All but over the world, apparently. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, that the impact of COVID nineteen on her business is, of course, financially um, uh, issue because uh, you know. Uh, that they have invested uh, the capital in order to get the return uh, on investment. And it's not only happening uh, in Switzerland, uh, but everywhere, all the uh, business or industry almost uh, uh, halted. But um, I wanted to know more about the assistance, or is there any like uh, monetary uh, assistance from uh, 
from the government. Okay, so the um, in terms of uh, help from the government, there is, and the Swiss government it's very uh, uh, fast in uh, helping us. Um, once the news is out, and then within a few days, um, we got the letter to say that uh, the government will uh, provide a help on the on term of salary for our uh, employees. Um, of course, there's a certain amount of maximum salary. Like for example, uh, those um, more than four thousand five hundred uh, francs per month only get maximum 400, uh, 4,500, for example, yeah, I'm not sure how much was that. Uh, and then, um, but of course government will not pay all, the, there's an 80% uh, help from the government for the salary um, from what they cannot work. For example, in the, in the month of March, from 1st to 15th, we are still working, so then that it's our uh, expenses, of course, and then from 15 to 30th, 31st of March, that is what government will help. And then government is also um, prepared to help us more than just in the month of March. For example, when April, May, or even until June at that time, yeah? Because at that time, the situation was really bad. And they don't know maybe when the restaurant can open again. And then uh, other help would be um, free interest loan. So we can contact our bank, uh, fill up the form, and then uh, within minutes, or like within, like very fast, we, we are granted the loan uh, of, uh, depends on how much income we make. That's interesting. Yeah, about 10% of a year uh, income, I think. And then uh, another help would be... You mean, you mean, oh. you mean 10% uh, interest rate? No, no, no. Ah, There's okay. no interest rate. Okay. And uh, the loan can be paid within five years. And then the amount is de determined on how much money, uh, yeah, how much, uh, not profit, but how much uh, sales you make for the past year, the whole year. So like 10% of it with the maximum amount of yeah, certain amount. And then uh, also the government uh, inform all the supplier that uh, please give us leniency to pay the bill, uh, uh, extend the, the duration of uh, the payment. For example, normally it's 30 days, now it's 60 days, like that. So this is quite interesting to know that the government, especially uh, the canton of Geneva, helps the entrepreneurs um, to survive by giving some, you know, um, some allowance to their staff, for example, also uh, informing the suppliers not to give the uh, outstanding bills uh, sooner, and as well as the uh, financial uh, aspect from the bank uh, itself, uh, they provide also uh, no interest rate when they want to have a credit which is quite interesting. And also, I've read uh, the news that the uh, cantonal uh, government of Geneva uh, uh, provides um, like uh, incentive to the uh, uh, residents. Like, uh, you know, uh, we have to report our personal income tax every year. And uh, suppose that the, in the personal income tax has to be reported in March, but the government um, allows us to report later and due date is uh, end of May which is uh, two months after uh, after the deadline which is great and um, uh, this is something that you guys should know also that the government is not stand still oh let the business run by uh, by the owners no it's not like this um, to you know to stimulate the economy the government helps uh, the entrepreneurs because later on the entrepreneurs will provide back to uh, the government by uh, yeah you know uh, paying the uh, yearly income tax um, maybe this is the last uh, questions about uh, you know the government of Switzerland is uh, informing or announcing that uh, they start 
the confinement um, on the 11th of May. So how do you um, prepare yourself to, you know, uh, to get your business uh, back uh, well, to normal? Can you uh, tell, uh, tell us whether you are prepared to, uh, to open your business and, um, well, back to normal again? Okay, so, um, oh, you mentioned about the tax return. Uh, yes, uh, for business also we have um, uh, like the help that we can uh, file our uh, tax return a little bit later, like not on the 31st of March, but uh, in May or uh, even end of June for business. And on top of that, I didn't mention earlier that the government also prepared uh, to help the business with the rent. So um, for business, small business who have rent below 3,500, uh, government will provide uh, rent free or like they will bear the cost of the rent. So we just have to fill up a form. We have to submit it to our regie or the, the agent of the, uh, the one who take care of the premises. And then from then on, then the government will see if uh, we are um, eligible or not. Yes. And then what is our preparation? Okay. So uh, our restaurant right now has a problem with the ventilation. So now that uh, the government open up, uh, we can then start the construction. So we we experience how is it to run a restaurant without the kitchen uh, intact in the restaurant. Uh, it is not easy. Um, we 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 do a lot of uh, takeaway. Of course, we do a lot of people dine in. But of course, we want to provide a better uh, quality food for our customer. That's why we want to make the, our kitchen is fully functioning kitchen. So we will wait until the, the renovation is finished. Then uh, we can open the restaurant again. And another preparation is that we want to reach more uh, customer. So we are learning, I mean, this one month and a half or almost two months, we have a lot of time. We do some research on how restaurant work. Um, I mean, in, in Geneva or in, in Europe, the online business is not as big as in Asia. But uh, we will see how uh, we can uh, take advantage of that also for our uh, restaurant. So you know that the cantonal government uh, of Geneva has helped a lot to the uh, business owners to keep their business alive even though there is no activities uh, providing such as like free um, rental fee for example yeah, yeah there's always a ceiling on that one and um, of course the government cannot cover all the businesses but as you probably haven't heard that you know the majority of our economy is run by the small businesses. Uh, it's quite interesting to know, and uh, this restaurant, Santo Garpo, also learned uh, from this confinement, from this COVID, that they are uh, about to reopen their restaurant after, you know, uh, learning how to make the business more attractively so that people get to know the restaurant and they will uh, just come and taste uh, the food, Indonesian food. It's quite delicious, I tell you. So uh, next time if the restaurant opens, I'm going to come here to taste the food and <laughs> tell you guys. So um, guys, and uh, this is it for today and uh, you know this is one of the uh, uh, source that I can uh, ask uh, for insight how does uh, the uh, COVID-19 affect uh, the business in Geneva so if you have questions please write down below in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope uh, this video gives you some insight how the impact of COVID on the business is so I see you again next time. Thank you. Ciao.